In this video, we're going to look at how to use the Pydantic base model for the body of a post request. So as usual, I'll fork the previous version and we'll get started. I'm going to create a new handler. This time it'll be a post and it'll also go to portfolio and async def post portfolio. Now this will obviously this will take some kind of content in the body that will be interpreted as JSON. However, once Fast API gets a hold of it, I want it to use a base model. That's very simple. I'm going to I wanted to use the coin base model. So I'll say coin and then use a type hint of coin. Inside I want to have two possibilities. First of all, if the coin is already in the portfolio, I don't want to overwrite it and I don't want to add a second one. So I will iterate over the coins in the portfolio. And if the coin ID of the current coin is equal to the coin ID of the coin that I just cr created or I'm trying to create, then we'll return a message that says the coin, uh, rather coin, coin ID is already in portfolio. Otherwise, what I'll do is I will add the coin to the portfolio. And finally, I'll return that coin. All right, and that's all there is to it. So I'll go over to the README and I will copy the startup command paste it, run it, and I'll open this in another window. And I'll add the docs path and I'll go to post portfolio. There are no parameters but it does have an example schema or an example JSON object based on this schema provided by the coin class, or the coin base model. So when I hit try it out, this will become editable. So I'll say Ethereum, and we'll say three and a half. Execute. We have a 200 response code, and what's returned is the coin that was created. Now if I hit execute with the exact same one, the exact same JSON, then we'll come back with the message Ethereum already in portfolio. So that's how you can use a base model to marshal between JSON and Python objects in a fast API application.